<laughs> can we have a look? With all this chaos going on, we need to move away. We need to travel somewhere, Tom. Yes. Can we? It's going to be difficult this month, as we know what with these historic strikes being called. This story on the front of the Sunday Telegraph is essentially about government attempts to try and undercut the strikes, really. So they're talking about a tweak to the law which would allow agency workers to be brought in to cover um, for the striking workers. This is also coming down the line is um, more fundamental change, essentially requiring the um, railways to maintain a kind of skeleton service even in the event of strike action. I'm not going to make myself popular here by suggesting that these measures are essentially about just trying to undermine the right to strike and to collective Mm. bargaining, which I know that... (coughs) People are experiencing the travel chaos and all the rest of it. It is something which is genuinely disruptive. But that's because these workers are being faced with a pay freeze. They are being faced with some job losses. And they have a right to organise to fight for their own interests. And I think these measures are effectively attempts to, in terms of this skeleton crew thing in particular, essentially forcing workers to cross picket lines, which seems to me, given we've got such punishing trade union laws already, um, is again something which will continue to undermine that right to strike, which... It's disruptive, but that's the point of it, is because they're fighting for their interests.